Welcome back, gainers, to another super crazy exciting episode of... Comic, get your gains. Welcome back, gainers, Woo. to another crazy exciting episode of... Comic Gate! And if you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Ninja Parent Princess, Her Royal Highness. Make sure to bow down. Bow to your sensei! <laughs> bow down. And do the wave. And Coco's here. Here is Yeah, Coco's here. Alright, guys, so today bow is sensei. Wednesday, and what are we gonna do for the last time ever, Zach? <laughs> what's in the box? <laughs> so finalizing the What's in the Box series, guys, we have four books left to show you from Zach's amazing graded collection. Uh, they were gonna. We're going to kick it off with all X-Men. There's four X-Men books left. We're going to check them out. This will be the end of a little era for us. We've been doing this for almost a year and a half, I think, What's in the Box. So mm -hmm. a year and a half of What's in the Box will come to an end on this Wednesday. But a new segment will start uh, new from the beginning. Yeah, we're going to start a new segment. We'll stay to the end of the show and we'll explain the new segment. Plus, uh, we got two drunken games. One from Zach, one from me, and... Princess has a very special opening that she picked up off Whatnot, so stay tuned for that. There's also one thing that we always do before every What's in the Box that's very special to us as well, Zach. What is it? We drink a beer, but in this case, a cider. I told you it'd be back. I told you. It's Excelsior. Excelsior. Excelsior always returns. We only drink Excelsior from now on. <laughs> every day. That would get boring. Wait, every hour, every day. Uh, how do you say it? A day. A, I don't know. All right, I'm going to drink it. You guys know it. You, try you to guys love it. <laughs> Started from the bum, now I'm here. Was it delicious as it was before? Mm hmm. Extra delicious. All right, guys. So, if you're new to the last episode of What's in the Box, which hopefully you're not, uh, basically we're going through Zach's graded comics, and uh, he has a lot of them because we've been doing this for a long time, and this is finally the end. So, either if you like this segment. Then you're gonna be sad, and if you hate the segment, then you're probably gonna be happy because you're gonna see something new. So let's see. <gasps> What's, What's in the box? This is like some really big ones in here, right? Yeah, there's a lot of value in the last Some part. big ones. Ooh, you didn't pick out the biggest one, so. All right. So, oh, okay, this is really cool. So you got X Men number 105 from 1977, uh, 9.6, but uh, it's a Chris Claremont story and David Cockrum cover. Is there any significance to this book other than that? Fire Lord, Liliandra, Misty Knight, and Eric the Red appearance. But it's also signed by Stan Lee. Stan Lee, guys. Stan the Man Lee. So, yeah. So it's an uh, early Phoenix appearance, obviously, and probably early Fire Lord appearance. And as you will know, Galactus is coming, and so will his Herald. So, and the Phoenix will eventually come back. She always rises, guys. Like the Phoenix. I'm, From the ashes. If I remember the story, I think Fire Lord comes down to mess with them. To mess, like, with, uh, mm -hmm. with Phoenix. And then they actually end up having to, like, kick them off. And then they go up into where uh, the Shi'ar are to, to battle them. But. That's another thing. You guys mm -hmm. get the first appearance of the Shi'ar. Yeah. Or the first character in the Shi'ar. Hang on to those uh, Stan Lee signatures, though. <laughs> We've sold a lot of them, and now they're starting to become pretty valuable. So Pretty dang valuable, guys. What's in the box? <laughs> ah! Especially on an original, an old X. Oh, <laughs> she got the big boy, the best one. All right, so we got uh, a little little book here called uh, X Men Number One. A little book, just a little book. But uh, this would be the first appearance of Cyclops. Uh, what do we got here? The Beast and Marvel Girl, Iceman, Angel, and Magneto, and <laughs> Professor X. X. So. Uh, Zach picked this little bad boy up, and he's got him in a 2.0 CBCS. Off-white pages, I'm sure, right? 2.0, but awesome book. It presents very, very well. Off-white to white. Off-white to white. Almost white. <laughs> Almost. Anything about this book, Zach? Oh, it's fantastic. So I picked this up at a con for a thousand bucks, right? That seemed like a lot. Raw, though, right? Raw. Yeah. Raw. And uh, so I looked at it. I was like, okay, I get two other guys I talked to you. Tried to sell me it for fifteen hundred in a lower grade than this, and they were telling me 
that they were a 2.0. They were not 2.0. They were more beat than this book, guys. How many years ago? Uh, this was like seven years ago. All right. And uh, so I'm like, uh, I talked to the guy, spent like nearly an hour talking to this guy. He had this amazing like wall of uh, like uh, collectibles. Like he had Captain America's shield signed by all the Avengers. He told me the story, went pretty deep. Oh no, it wasn't a shield, it was the hammer. But he also had the shield signed by, I think, Chris Evans, too. But he had the hammer, and he got everybody to sign it. And when he finally went to Scarlett Johansson, she had an emergency or something like that. And she had to, like, leave. But, like, uh, Robert Downey Jr. signed it, I believe. And, like, he said, no, nope, Scarlet Witch, come back. Come back. Black, yeah, Black Widow. Th this <laughs> Black <laughs> Widow. Or not Scarlet Witch, it's Scarlett Johansson, excuse me. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson, come back. This guy just needs one more sh signature. It's like, I gotta go. It's just one signature. Take a half a second. So he was able to get his, like, dream piece done because of the, uh, you know, like, the patience and understanding of Robert Downey Jr. and Scarlett Johansson. Fortitude. You know, it's amazing. And then after that, it's like, you take a thousand cash? It's like, sure. He had that also at, like, 13 or 1400. So he gave me a sweet deal. And then you got it graded yourself through CBCS? Yep. All right. And Didn't impress it, did you? They didn't even press it. They uh -oh. said they said it would probably disintegrate the book. That's what they <laughs> said. So I'm like, I'll take you guys you know, word for it. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. Uh, but two point oh, you know, it's pretty tough. So. Alright, great great book though. Great book. So, yeah. One of Zach's uh, Grails. Yeah. Pretty good story. What's, What's in the in box? He's like this spits out the all the liquid. Alright. How are you gonna top that? Well you can't, but <laughs> you can come close. Ooh, no. all right. So you got that's yeah, that's pretty darn close. Uh, so you got X Men number three from nineteen sixty four. You got Stan Lee story, Jack Kirby cover, first appearance of the Blob. So six point five, very respectable grade in in Silver Age. So okay. Zach would say what six to seven, pretty good. Is there hair in there? Six to seven. Princess hair. You know how that goes, Jose. You know how that happens around his so, household. <laughs> Anything above, like, it's a 3.5 and above usually presents pretty decently. A 6 and above presents really well. Anything below a 3.5 usually doesn't present as good, but beggars can't be choosers. If you get, like, your grail at a 2.0, 2.5, or 1.5, be happy, guys. It's, it's amazing that you finally got it. Um, Blob, definitely a good book to spec on, too, guys, because... They did him in that Wolverine Origins movie, which was kind of weird because they started him out as like this like skinny guy, and then apparently he got fat, which was <laughs> weird. But a uh, great actor who played him. Weird. I love the actor. But uh, if they redo him, which I think they they should, because the other X Men series didn't touch on Blob at all, and if they reuse him, they could do a lot of cool stuff with him C CGI for sure. Oh, well, absolutely! It's almost gonna be like one of those like amazing uh, Spider Man villains, you know, right. popping off like they all are right now. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of funny, like. He comes before Juggernaut. They're basically the same character, except for one's the move immovable Blob, one's the unstoppable Juggernaut. That's true. I didn't even think about that. Very similar character. Very similar. One of them Just, likes to eat a lot. Yeah. Nom 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 nom. Yeah. Okay. What's, What's in, in the, the box? box? And I think I know what the last one is because we haven't showed you yet. I think. What did we say for the last one? Oh shoot. Okay. Cool. So we got a. Uh, X-Men number two, and uh, this is from 1963, Stan Lee story, Jack Kirby cover, and... First appearance of Brad oh, Pitt. Wait, no, no. It's, yeah, true. <laughs> it's first appearance of Brad Pitt. The Vanisher. <laughs> you so, didn't see that coming, did you? I know, I was reading this story, I'm like, Zach, do you know about The Vanisher? He's like, oh yeah, and everybody knows about The Vanisher. But uh, really cool, really cool book. That's a very respectable grade for that for that book. But yeah, if you didn't know, in the Deadpool 2 movie, Brad Pitt played the Vanisher. Briefly. It's yeah. Amazing. All you get to do is see him get electrocuted by that wire. But Man, classic. He was the voice that he was the Vanisher. So mm -hmm. wanted to up the book a little bit. So all right, guys, that brings what's in the box to an end. Um, it's a sad, but we're going to jump on to something new. And so what we are going to be doing new is top five. So, uh, we're going to start a brand new segment where the Gaines crew puts together a top five list. It could be anything. Mostly about comics, I think. It's going to be mostly about comics. Every once in a while, we might throw in top five, Zach's top five favorite beers. But that's what it's going to be. And it's going to be a list compiled by the three of us 
voted on by the three of us and Coco every once in a while. We're going to see what the top five is. And it'll be a new topic each week. And we'll be happy to get, if you guys want to um, basically message us any topics you want us to do, we'd be happy to do our favorite top five of any topic you guys choose as well. That'll help us out. So let us know what you think about the new topic, but that's going to be Wednesday top five. There'll be a lot less yelling in the new Wednesday segment, I think, right? Because we did a lot of yelling in the current week. Zach will find a way to yell. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and l- Lessing, um, well, not Lessing, maybe not Lessing, uh, just before he gets to that. So someone mentioned in one of our videos about like flexing like battles. So if you guys want to call anybody out, not us, because we already showed over Flexi. But if you want to call somebody out, maybe we can make this start happening in one of the videos. Like, flex battle. We this versus this. Like, five five books, maybe, from least expensive to most expensive. And you versus someone that least expensive to most expensive. And we see who wins. We'll do, like, a grading system. That's the word. That could work. That's a, it'd be hard to figure out. The first one's going to be rough. It, it sounds like it'd be fun. All right. So... Let's get into the next one here. Oh, okay. So this is, we're getting into some drunken buys. We'll start out with mine is Zach's drunken buy first because the highlight of the show is going to be the princess's books that she picked up off whatnot. Oh, cool. So we'll show that. So uh, this is something we got on eBay. It means like we're sitting up late one night and saw a good deal, decided to buy it. Don't ever ship a book like this. It's in a, like, what, a little bubble mailer with probably two pieces of cardboard in between. Yeah. Try not to do that. Just, uh, if you're going to ship a lot of books, just buy in bulk. Oh, nice. They do not bend on the inside. And it's already <laughs> it's like, Oh, oh, on the inside. It's like, <laughs> do not bend. Is there even a book it, in here? It kind of, oh, oh, it was definitely bent. Yeah, it was bent. Mm. So, I'm not even going to cry about it. We got a good deal on this, but, um, yeah, was, look at it. It's like, definitely bent can, in there. Well, the other side wasn't even hard cardboard. <laughs> All right. You hear that, guys? That's um, called a cardboard shipping fail. It happens. But uh, so we picked up uh, oh man, Master of Kung Fu Shang Chi number one fifteen, and I'm trying to remember what was the, the first Death piece? Dealer. Death Dealer, yeah. Which uh, at the time we thought this was a good idea to buy. I still I kind of want to collect this whole run because the movie blew me away. But he did die in the movie. No spoiler alert. But he did get his soul <laughs> sucked out in the movie. So I don't think he's showing up for the next Shang Chi. So. Well, not this character per se, Great but though. someone that takes a moniker of death, you know. This actually might be a good book to get at the, as it's going down. True. I think we picked it up for like, what, 10 bucks or something? Yeah, yeah. and it's probably worth that now since it's been bent up, but we'll press it up. <laughs> I bought some other supplies, and we're going to get back into pressing. We won't be doing anybody else's book yet, but maybe in the near future when we get good enough, we'll... You know, take commissions. You know, but buy commissions and but cool book, though. I was excited. Uh, you know, I, I was able to pick up Shang-Chi's first appearance from uh, Zach. So I'm uh, going to try and collect the run on that one. And I got it from Wink. Yeah. Yeah, so. thank you. I, I've traded some books. Um, oh, okay. We both got a pretty decent. All right, let's see here. Fun. So uh, this is something Zach purchased, and he does not remember what's in it. So let's find out. Drunken buys. Drunken gains. They packaged this one really well in a Gemini. In so. a Gemini. And it looks like a brand new Gemini, too. And if you are watching I know, this we usually ship our stuff on brand new Gemini. Oh! oh. This is a good... We actually picked this one on eBay drunk together. Oh, oh yeah! I can't believe we found this this cheap, too. It was like, what, only like five bucks or something like that? It was pretty low. Whoa, this is really clean. Be careful, it's still connected. Where? Everywhere. I just cut that. It's still connected. Okay. We're all connected. Okay. I can't sing. I just got oh, there's another piece of tape down here. See, it's still connected. I mean, I can see why people would do that, but when you connect the tape to the actual, like, not the book, but, like, Ooh. to the bag, to the bag. Oh, that's really clean. All right. Yeah. I can't believe we found that. Late night, late night shopping on eBay. So what book you got there, Zach? So we got a G.I. Joe 32. A little bit of a corner crunch, but yeah, the spine is clean. That can be it looks pressed, pressed out. out. Yeah. Uh, so we got the first appearance of Lady J, and I think there's a couple other first appearances in there. But the main one is Lady J. She's getting her own TV show. Or Am- a movie. Uh, TV show. I think it's on Amazon, I believe. 
And uh, if it works out, this book will be worth a good amount of money. Yeah. It's probably one of the worst covers I've seen in a long time. And uh, the princess keeps asking us if the dude on the front is Lady J. <laughs> We're like, I don't think so. And I have to always look like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not a lady. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't, I'm not, I'm not getting on that now. <laughs> but uh, definitely a good, we, we've run across this book like three or four times now. I've sold a couple. I think we gave one away at one time, but happy to find another one. It's still holding its value. A lot of G.I. Joe books are going up too. Because like when we first started collecting, we were looking and we're like, there's like four, four first appearances in this book and it's a $5 book. I don't even understand it. Now, like a year or two later, they're all like bumping up to like $15, $20 for all those first appearance books. So don't toss them aside. Those G.I. Joe books are, are pretty key. Solid story too. Solid story. All right. Well, let's see. We got Princess really excited about this. So she wrote me some notes on here. Okay. So Princess was able to pick this up. It's some hip hop covers from AK Comics. It was a whatnot auction. So you guys all know about the whatnot, but he did a what? special hip hop only whatnot, uh, which was a big thing. And uh, long shanks. All right, we're back on you. Okay, so we got also he is a fellow Seahawk fan as well, which is a big deal to us because Princess is a huge, huge Seahawks fan. Plus, man, they're having a rough season this year though. Go Hawks! But we still love, we still love them. See, the NFC West is nuts. Okay, so she's really excited about this. I think. Uh, she was See. able, as you guys know, Princess is a, a big See. collector of the hip hop covers. Thank you. I think she's got more than half now, right? This guy. No, not even half. I keep thinking she has almost all of them, but she doesn't. So it's nice when she gets to be able to do these whatnot ones and actually pick up the books that she wants for her collection. Because usually Zach and I come home with randos that she already has. Yeah, this one was also packaged nice. Let's see. Their card? Um, little thingy. A, a little. Okay. Something on the back. Oh, perfect. Okay, good. I like when they don't actually like tape the edge on these. There's something on the back. Uh, what not order? So, so something. Pass me that bag. Yeah. What's in the bag? Uh, Jack loves looking in things. Something, I saw like some kind of outline. Like after oh. you're done like drinking a gallon of milk, Zach will like look at the bottom. It's a piece, a random piece of tape on here. Okay, that's what it was. I thought it was outlined for a note or something. A note? Noted. Okay, I'm trying to get into it. Well, trying to get into it. Oh, okay. Uh, he says, thanks for the love. Enjoy the bonus. Go Hawks. Ooh, a bonus. AK Comics. Oh. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. Well, they're in mylar, so that's good. They are taped very well. Now, flop it around like a dead fish. Who? You. I'm not going to do that. Flop it around like a dead fish. You have to hear the comic snap. No, I don't like the comic snap. Okay. <laughs> I have no Sometimes I feel like we should, like, pre-open these a little bit, but... But where's the mystery in that? I don't seem like a... The, the what we where we heard about the comic snap. I just I don't know if it's right or not. I just thought it was funny. Okay, I'm in. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about the comic snap. No, another story and a story for another time. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Is that the one you know about? Okay. All right. So you got Squadron Supreme. Ooh, dang. So you got Enter the Squad number one. Obviously, it's a Wu Tang homage. That is really cool. Why is it? It's like a night owl. I don't know. I think it is. I never even heard of the squad. I feel like I should know about. Well, I know about the. Golden I, I know Girls about squad. A Squadron Supreme. Um, oh, Squadron Supreme. Is it not not Hellion? Uh, what's it called? Um, it starts with the H. Hyperion. Oh yeah. He's a leader, or at least he's in the squad, and he's like really powerful. He's super powerful. Mm. Very cool. Squadron Supreme. Thank oh, you, Princess. Yeah. Great find. Supreme. Great find. Was that the one you bought or the throwing? The, the throwing? That's the throwing. Oh. Okay. That's a cool so, thing. She doesn't have that one for her collection, so. That's awesome. Very cool. Oh. And, oh, what the heck? X gonna give it to you. <laughs> that's cool. All new Wolverine number one. 
uh yeah that's the dmx homage really good time to buy this book because you know unfortunately it went up in value because of uh, his passing but um yeah dropped a lot since then so but amazing cover amazing cover pretty dope, pretty dope. Mm -hmm. uh, i think it's the beginning of the new wolverine series i believe so x23 on the cover right yeah yeah mm -hmm. she becomes a new wolverine pretty pretty close to that if not in that issue i think yeah, very, very cool. Prince has been wanting that for a while, so I didn't, yeah, didn't know she picked that up. All right, it's been a little bit of a long episode. We're kind of, a little bit, you know, ending an era and christening off a new one. But uh, yeah, as always, guys, if you like the show, love the show, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you always know when new things are going down. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know. We want to get your guys' thoughts on the end of what's in the box and the beginning of top five. And, uh, we love your guys' comments well as much as we love you guys. And anything else, Zach? Yeah, sure. I do, Lance. You have to love the leader of cola, get covered in powdered sugar, get in a car called Cam, Cam Ramrod, or something similar to one person's name, your own, and another person's name, not your own. Connected. Well, sometimes they are connected, but not in this case. And uh, yeah, that's how you become Farva from Super Troopers. Mm, good movie. Oh, yeah, great movie. <laughs> car Ramrod! Say, 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 <laughs> say right now. Does it look like they're spitting this burger? <laughs> yes. Oh, well. Pretty good. <laughs> All right, guys. Until we see you next time, stay safe and remember, get those canes. Get Every single one. Get those flying <laughs> canes. Fly in that flying car.